welcome back to Crafting a Country Life. I'm jumping on this morning to um, share a project for Saturday Morning Makes, which is hosted by Jill Norwood. Um, I've been working on this project uh, over the weekend, and here it is Sunday morning. And I just finished them up, and I thought, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this filmed and upload these. I made three of these adorable Halloween gingerbread people. And this one is supposed to be kind of like a zombie. You can see her little eye with the band-aids on it. Um, let me share first though, what I used for the dies on this. These are um, a set of gingerbread dies that I've had for probably a year or two. And I've filmed this before in other videos, um, so I won't spend too much time on it, but this is a kit that I purchased from um, Ellen Hudson, uh, her website, and she had, this um, gingerbread kit, which came with wool felt pieces, which you can kind of see some different colors in here. There's some embroidery floss that came with it. And the die sets are these. Okay, and here's the, the top of it so you can see. They're Essentials by Ellen, uh, Gingerbread Plushy Girl, which is this kit here. And these have the basic gingerbread pieces. This piece here is uh, a piece that you can insert if you wanted to do blanket stitching around the edges and stuff these with um, stuffing. Um, and these provide the little holes for sewing. Uh, or you can just use cardstock as I did with these and just use the outer piece. So this is the little girl set. And then it, the kit also came with the gingerbread boy kit or set. And it's got, you know, a bow tie and face pieces and so on, little buttons. So that's the boy. And then you can get separately, which I did. I got the uh, gingerbread plushy skelly add-on. So this is for Halloween. And it's so much fun. I, I've been using this set um, a lot. It's great for different holidays and different themes. You can dress it up or dress it down. But I used uh, my neon cardstock to create these and I double layered them with some, um, here's the back, with some other papers that I had in my stash. Um, and then what I did here is, if you've been to Dollar Tree, they, they have or they had these um, packages of cupcake wrappers. So I just cut a piece of the cupcake wrapper and used it, you know, it's just black cardstock and glued it on for her skirt and then I added this, um, it's a Michaels paper pad with foil, different colors of foil paper. And this happens to be a black holographic foil paper. So uh, I used those for the other decorations, the bones and the ruffles and so on, and the little heart in her face. Then I used um, Nouveau drops to create her hair. I just drew on the hair. And then I made up this little um, straw um, with a tassel, cardstock tassel on the edge to make a broom and put a little pom-pom on the top. Whoops, I'm not even in frame, sorry. <laughs> so there's the first one. Okay, and then the second one here is using um, the neon pink cardstock, and here's the backing paper. And this is from, a, I think it's a DCWV pad that I had gotten at Joann's last year. Uh, and then I just topped it off with a button and some you know, I use the neon colors throughout. The neon buttons from Joann's and the um, neon uh, Rick Rack. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, just to let you know, I did um, a haul video, a couple of videos back, that goes into all of the supplies that I used for these, for these projects. Um, and I went out and shopped just for neon colored supplies and I found lots of things out there. So if you know if you're interested in getting a little bit more detail tail on all of those products, you can take a look at that video. Um, so anyway, I used also on this particular skelly, I put these Michael's shiny little dots. These are called gemstones. And again, from Michael's, I had a 40 off coupon, so I picked these up. And I just, you know, as you can see, they're kind of just added in between the bones here. This, um, the green skeleton is actually cut out of uh, neon felt using the Ellen Hudson dies. So I glued the felt bones onto the cardstock body. And then I had 
this ribbon here that I had picked up a package of, the, and these are new this year from um, from Michaels. And again, this is all in my the other the previous video. So I'm just sharing the projects that I made with uh, my neon Halloween haul, and that one. Let's see what else did I? Oh, I had a dangle that I made actually last year. It's got a little skeleton, and these skeletons come in a package. I got them at Joann's on sale last year. Uh, and they had different colors in the package. And they're over in the children's toy and craft department. So that's where that skeleton came from. And then I just did up a little dangle with some of my seed beads. And then, you know, use the ribbon to tie. And then some Nouveau drops for the little eyes. And, yeah, I think it came out really cute. I really love these bright neon colors. They're a little bit different. Um, and then here's the last one, and this one has more of the neon pink ribbon that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby. And then this is just a little chipboard piece I picked up at Target um, last year. They had, of course I haven't been in Target this year, but they used to carry these plastic canisters filled with chipboard pieces. So this is from that. And um, this is uh, neon glitter cardstock that I picked up at Joann's this year. Um, and then the little Nouveau drops actually are, they're not Nouveau, they're um, Ranger's Liquid Pearls. In, uh, and they come in a package of three neon colors. Here they are. Whoops. And I used the pink one to do the eyes on this little guy. And then I used a Dollar Tree pick. They have the little wooden picks this year. I painted the stem. It was a wood color, but I painted it black. And then I added a round... Um, circle die cut underneath and some of this neon pick this up at Joann's this year neon tool nylon tool and put that behind another chipboard sticker this again is also from Target the same um, as where I gotten the uh, little pumpkin and then I added uh, the tiny little star and these I believe where did I get these I got these at Hobby Lobby you know when they have their beads on sale so I was looking for the neon colors, and sure enough, they had some stars, so I picked those up. And they're rubbery. They have a rubbery feel, but they have holes through them, so you could use them for jewelry or what have you. But I just glued mine on with hot glue right here. And I think it adds a nice touch. And there's lots of textural elements here between the ribbon and the glitter, paper and the tulle and so on. So I always try to include a little texture, whoopsie, in my projects when I'm creating them. But I thought that came out really cute. And here's the back side, again, from another uh, Halloween pad that I had in my stash. And with just a little neon button at the top over the, uh, over the uh, neon grow green ribbon. So lots of fun to make. I had so much fun working on these. I picked this skein up also at Joann's um, this year when I was doing my haul a couple weeks ago. Um, and these colors are all neon plus black, so I just used some of that. I used the black, actually, to um, <clears throat> tie the little charm onto this skeleton here. A little bit of the black yarn. So yeah, I think they came out great. I'm really happy with them. They had so much fun making them. I hope you enjoyed watching my video, and I'll be back again soon with some more, um, with some more craft projects to show you. Have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.